we're eight years into this bull market. There's only one that's been longer than this. So we're due for a correction. Everybody knows it. You can feel the uncertainty that people have and the volatility out there. So what I want to do is show a millennial who may have too much debt and think they'll never be free, that the next crash is the greatest opportunity probably in your life to leapfrog from where you are to where you want to be. I interviewed 50 of the smartest financial people in the world to try to get under. What is the difference that makes the difference? What is it that these people do differently than everyone else? From Carl Icahn and Warren Buffett and Ray Dalio. We all have to become owners. And I'm sure most of you watching already are, but maybe we need to give ourselves a raise. When I say owners instead of consumers, we all have to decide that we're going to take a percentage of our income and that we're never going to see it. We're just going to have it automatically put in an investment account. Then we decide where to put it. But first, you've got to get it off your spending area where you just don't see it. The most important second decision to make is your asset allocation. Every great investor knows that they're going to be wrong. Wrong about timing, wrong about the market, everybody's wrong. So your protection is the diversification across a different asset class. But you're not going to win if you're dealing usually with a broker or someone who's charging you or a mutual fund that's charging you fees that are sucking life out of you. It's really hard to get your boat to where you want to go when you get a gaping hole called fees. And most people have no clue what they're being charged in fees. But you've got to take advantage of the greatest opportunity in your life, which is to own American business. As Buffett told me, he said, Tony, we keep moving up for a couple of reasons. America is so focused on productivity. He said, we're going to continue to be more productive. You know the technology is coming out. It's going to take us to another level. We have a great population that's growing, and immigration has been a part of that. And thirdly, we have inflation. And those three things, over time, has made American business continue to grow. If you're a baby boomer and you started too late and think it's impossible to get where you want to go, you're wrong because when the crash comes, the opportunity is immense.